our Lord, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, sprang out of Judah. Right. Right. Judah. Right. Where well, y'all see Judah? Right here. Good job, young man. Judah, which is who? The American blacks. Right. Right. So we are helping y'all identify who the American blacks are today. Right. Who Judah is today. Right. Because today we go by the name of what? African American. But we're not African American, young men, Tim. We are from the tribe of Judah. Right. The same tribe that Christ came from. Hey, young man, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? You good? So, let me ask you this, because right now we're going into some wisdom, right? Who is this right here? Bring it out. Who? Jesus. That's Jesus? He should have said Jesus. He said it's God. So he said it's God. That's Jesus. You just shake your head. You give me an answer. That's Jesus. So you got two Jesus and you said it's God, right? All right, let's, let's establish something. Give me Mark. Mark 1 and I think 17, somewhere around there. The book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 1. And after six days, Jesus takes Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bring them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. So he changed. His, his earthly body changed to an angelic body. Go ahead. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him. So Moses representing the, the prophet, uh, uh, the, the law and the prophets, right? Read. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee and one for Moses and one for Elias. So he wanted to reverence Moses, the prophets representing Eli Elias, representing the prophets. And for Christ, he wanted to make three tabernacles, putting them on the same uh, level, right? Same playing field, but they not read. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. A bright cloud overshadowed them. So we got Christ, you got Moses and Elias, right? And now you got a bright cloud overshadowing them. That's God, all right? Read. And behold, a voice out of the cloud, which so God is speaking to all of them right but to yeah which said this is my beloved son so it's a voice which is god saying this is my beloved son who was talking about jesus right so that's showing there's two different entities right there right right in whom i am well pleased ye hear him in whom i am well pleased hear ye him so god told them peter the, uh, the, to listen and follow who? Christ. He said, hear ye him. So, Christ was sent. You know why Christ was sent on earth? To do what? Now, speak up. To warn people. To warn people. I like it. I like that. To warn people. That's why we're here. We're here to warn people. So, we're going to get the description of Christ. Because that's one thing you first... First off, you got to understand... The color is in the Bible. Right. Color is in there. Right. Your Christian church, y'all go to church, y'all going to church tomorrow? Yeah. Yes, sir. No. Nope. Okay. The Christian church don't teach us the Bible. They teach us a fairy tale. Right. They teach us lies. That's right. They teach us white supremacy. Right. Because this image is not in the Bible. That's right. All right. Let's, uh, point. Yeah, one and one. One and one. The book of Revelation, chapter one, verse one. Bring it out. Read the description of Christ. And I want you three young men to tell me if it matches this image. All right? Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation means revealing. Because today, you think that being a black man is something wrong with that. Right? Because we've been talked about in this whole world that we're nothing, that we're lazy. Right? That we not fathers. Right? And then we see this every day through our community. Funerals. Who killing who? Us killing each other. This is a part of the curse that we live in under. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by
by his angel unto his servant John. So John is for to reveal to us the image of Christ. Because all three of y'all, well outside of you, you said it was God, but all three of y'all believe that this either God or Christ. But it's not. Alright, read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It said his head, the hair on top of his head, and his hairs, all the beards you see on these men's face, that's what it's talking about. Were white like wool. So listen to these words again. White like wool. First off, any of these images have white hair? Right? No? Then it says like wool. What's the texture of wool? Huh? Now come up close. I can't hear you. Soft, soft. Soft, okay, like what? What's the texture of? Soft like sheep. Sheep, right? Sheep. So, is this soft like sheep? Is this, or is it stringy? Bring it up. It's stringy. Stringy hair, right? What about this image? That look more coarse wool, right? Hair like the pure wool, right? Who has woolly hair on there? Bring it out. Who has woolly hair? All you gotta do is touch your head. Right, him, you do. You just got it locked up right now, right? right? You do too. That's wool. Bring it out. Do the so-called white man have woolly hair? No. No. So the Bible just told us that Christ's hair would be like wool. All right, three. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So it said, and his eyes shall be as a flame of fire. So on any of these pictures, normally that we see, and you can see some here, what color are this, this man's eyes? Bring it out. Blue. Sometimes they're green. Different colors, right? But the Bible just said his eyes will be red. Let's see why. Go to Revelation. I mean Genesis. 49 and 12. Christ's eyes shall be red. Alright? Why would they be red? Because it was a future prophecy showing us how to identify him. Alright, read. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes shall be red with wine. It's talking about Christ. Right? Hey, hey, hey. And his teeth white with milk. So his eyes will be red with wine. Why? Because his first miracle was doing what? Turning water into wine. Right. That was Christ's first miracle. That's right. So his eyes will be red. You see these eyes on that on that image right there? It's red. That's right. Right? So that's number two on this one. His hair not woolly. His eyes ain't red. They blue. Right? Right. Yes, sir. Read. Now we're going to get to the skin color. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. So now I'm saying his feet. Because y'all two got slippers on, right? Aren't your feet the same color as the rest of your body? Bring it out. Yes. So it's giving a depiction of Christ's feet. Read it again. And his feet like unto fine brass. It said, and his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, young man? What grade you in? Fifth. Fifth. You, you should know this too, though. They ain't taught, they it's not they that hard. But you ain't never been taught this, period. Because I never was taught it. That's right. The men before me were never taught it. That's right. Because if we were taught this, we would have more pride within ourselves, and our community would look the way it does. That's right. right. So, brass. Give me a. Y'all know what brass is? So, think, think about this. Y'all watch the Olympics, right? You got the gold medal. You got the, the bronze oh, like and the brown, silver. Like brown, like it's like, it's like brown. Brown. And you go brown. You said, oh, you said. It's brass, brown, same thing. Right? It's the same thing. But it's telling you that what? Christ is a brown skin man. That's right. right. That's right. So who has woolly hair? Who has brown skin? Yes, that image, but I'm saying, on earth right now, walking. Black people. Yes, black people. Right, right. You do. You know what I'm saying? Keep right quick. Check us out right quick. And his feet like the two fine brass. How y'all brothers time. doing, man? Why y'all still walking, man? We got we, we, we got some good news for you. We got good news. Yeah, God bless, but God not gonna bless you if you keep walking. We got the blessing for you to understand who you are, my brother. For you to be able to repent. That's the blessing. Read. 
and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So you put anything in a furnace, it's going to turn what? No, black. That's right. It's going to be black. So it said he was like bronze. Then it said it would, he's like, uh, read it again. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. And his feet will be like unto fine brass, as if it burned in a furnace. That's right. You burn anything, what color is coming out? It's gonna be black, right? Give me the one of Daniel's, Daniel 10 and 6. So this is another image of Christ, and I'm gonna show you more images of color being in the Bible. This is one thing, young man, that we, that you, your generation is lacking. Period. Is what? Self identity. That's right. right. Identifying themselves in the Bible. Right. Right. All right. Today, what do we do today? What do y'all do to pass the time? Video games. Video, Video games. games. Yes, there you go. Video games. Social what else? Sports. Sports, Sports. all right. Social media. Social media, all right. Yeah. I'm going to show you all three of those things are a detriment to our society and you men growing up right. to be men. All right, not little kids, but y'all are kids. But I'm showing you. You're gonna to have to grow past that, all right? And these are things that, when y'all take these flies off, because y'all do have flies, right? No. No, they need flies, brother, they need flies. When y'all take these flies home to your parents, make sure y'all look up the, the uh, email address, as well as make sure your parents look up the email address, all right, read. The book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse five. Bring it out. Then I lifted up my eyes, and look, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphaz. Verse 6, his body also was like the barrel. So this is describing Christ again. All right? Uh, yeah, Daniel is describing Christ. So he said he had on a garment. None of us have garments on here right now, but we have garments that we wear, right? And he said he had a golden girdle on, right? And he said, read it again. Uh, verse 5, verse 6. His body also was like the barrel. So the garment he had on was a green garment, all right, with gold, red. And his face as the appearance of lightning. Because he had a shine, a glow about him, red. And his eyes as lamps of fire. He said the same thing, right? Y'all paying attention? He said in his eyes as lamps of fire. He said the same thing Revelation said. His eyes shall be red, right? Red. And his arms and his feet. So now it's giving you in Revelation it said what? His feet was like bronze, right? Brass. Now it's telling you his arms and his feet. Right? Like in color to polish. Oh, you gotta slow down right there. Like in color. Like in color. So the Bible actually has color in it. Showing you what color the people of God are. That's right. As well as the depiction of the enemies too. Because believe it or not, this is our enemy. Right. This is our enemy. All right, read. And his feet like in color to polish brass. Like in color to polish brass. What's the color of brass again? Brown. Read. And the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. So that's what the brother was saying. Hey, y'all loud, this, that, and the third. We speak loud because I, uh, I, the king of kings and lord of lords spoke loud. That's right. You understand? Know Give me, give me a uh, Son of Solomon 1 to 5. So now, we understand Christ descended from somewhere, right? He have a genealogy, right? Y'all agree, young man? Just like your father, you come from your father. Your father has a father. His father has a father, your great, great grandparents, so on and so forth, right? I'm gonna show you that Christ's forefather looked like him. All right, read. The book, The Song of Solomon. Chapter 1, verse 5. Verse yeah. 1 and 1. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. So this is Solomon's book. He wrote this book. Let's see how Solomon looked. Read. Verse 5. I am black, but comely. Solomon said, I am black, but comely. I am black and beautiful. I am black and handsome. That's how you men supposed to feel about yourself. Right. You, you, you young men have to feel that you're the best thing upon this earth, which you are. I'm gonna show you that scripturally because you've never been taught that. Our brothers across the street, they've never been taught that. 
they never been taught that they're the greatest thing on this earth. Right. They, they never been taught that they're supposed to set themselves apart from all these nations. Right. Bring it out. You're not the same as all these nations. Right. All right, read. The Book of Psalms of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Uh -huh. I am black, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. So he's saying I'm black and beautiful, Job 30 and 30. So what you're finding out, young man, and then after that, give me uh, Sirach, I mean, not Sirach, but uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 7. What you find in our young men is that you are the best thing on the earth. Right. God created you in his likeness. Right. That's right. How was the first man created? I'm going to give it to you. because Again, I know the church ain't teaching y'all that. So when you read Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, Adam was created with the dust of the ground. What, what color is the soil of the ground? Bring it out. Brown. 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 Right. Brown, black. The deeper you, deeper you dig, the darker it gets. How you doing, my brother? How you doing, my brother? I'm good. What's your name? Tim. Tim. What I'm bringing out, Tim, is who we are according to the Bible. That you have a responsibility. Once you learn this, to go out and execute this. All right. But it's stages and process to this. All right. I asked him who this was. Who was this? Yeah. Who was this? That's Jesus, huh? See? But that's not how he actually looked. They just, because I just seen something where they open up uh, the box and they just seen a picture of the real box. The box. I said the box. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. You're talking about, uh, what's the dude over there? Putin. Putin. Vladimir yeah, Putin. Yeah. It's bringing forth the, he's supposed to the truth now, right? Right. This truth been around for, for years, for, for, for centuries, for eons. Right. That we are God's people and that the people in this book is black. Right. You got to understand something. Who have power in this world, y'all? Who, who possessed the power in the world to dictate what's the truth and what's a lie? Bring it out. Huh? White people. Right. Y'all agree, young men? They, they, they dictate what goes on in your school. What right. education is taught to you? Oh, okay. uh, of uh, uh, Alexander the Greek, of, uh, give us some of these damn Edomites. George Washington, so on and so. They dictate what history you're, you're given in school. Right. Have you ever heard about Gabriel Prosser? Denmark Vinci? Uh, uh, Nat Turner? No! These are revolutionaries. Right. Christ was the ultimate revolutionary on earth. Right. You know what I'm saying? He died for us, the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. That's one thing that the Christian church and your oppressor will never teach you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Read. The book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. So right now I'm showing them, Tim, right? Tim, that color is all throughout the Bible. That Christ is a black man. You see the image over there on the end? That's how, that's a better depiction of Christ. Right. This is all a false lie. Right. This is called white supremacy, right? Because right? how a people that had you in slavery is going to give you back anything that's worthwhile. That's right. 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 Answer that for me. Right. We go, we go, and we're going to prove to you that it's no, it's not, there's no bias against us. Right. We don't have hate for nobody. Right. But God has hate for this nation right here, for Esau. Right. And the things that they've done for us, they have to pay for. That's right. Right. Read the Book of Job, chapter thirty and verse thirty. My skin is black upon me. Job said, "My skin." Everybody got skin on them, right? He said, "My skin is black upon me." Right. Showing you what. Give me the one in uh, Jeremiah 14 to 2. Showing you what? Job is a black man. That's right. Job is a black man, brothers. But you're not going to learn this in Christianity. Right, right. You're going to get this. Bring it out. A false narrative. Peter White. Moses White. God White. You get lies from the other nations. Right, right. You get lies from your oppressor. Right. Bring it out. But you're going to get the truth from your brothers. Right. All right, read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Yeah. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof language. Just say Judah mourneth. We're in mourning right now. Right. Why are we in mourning? Because the gates thereof is talking about the leaders. Right. We don't have no more leaders. Yeah. Where is Malcolm X today? Where is, uh, uh, give me some more, y'all. Where is Martin Luther King? Yeah. Where is, uh, Stokey Carmichael, thank you. Where is Fred Hamilton? So where are the leaders today? Who is leading the people today? You are the leader, young man. You are the future leaders. But it's one thing we have to do. We have to learn our nationality. We have to learn that we're greater than what the nations have told us to be, that we are. You know what I'm saying? We're only at a lower state because of our own doing. All right? Read. 
Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof language. Uh -huh. They are black unto the ground. Judah is the same tribe. Give me that. Hebrews uh, 7 14. Judah is the head tribe of Israel. Right. The head tribe. Give me uh, Zephaniah Zeph Zeph 12 and 7. Uh, Zechariah, one of them. Zechariah. Yeah. Zechariah, thank you. Give me that. Zechariah 12 and 7. Nope. Because y'all got to understand something. Christ came from the tribe of Judah. Read that first. Christ came from the tribe of Judah. Read that. The book of, the book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Our Lord, the King of kings and Lord of lords, sprang out of Judah. Judah. Where y'all see Judah? Right here. Good job, young man. Judah. Which is who? The American blacks. Right, right. So we are helping y'all identify who the American blacks are today. Right. Who Judah is today. Right. Because today we go by the name of what? African American. But we're not African American, young men, Tim. We are from the tribe of Judah. Right. The same tribe that Christ came from. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.